Hi Blender fans and welcome to Blender TC. In today's tutorial we'll be making an ice cream. This is the second tutorial in the series. Last tutorial we made the cone. If we actually press Alt and H we'll make our cone reappear. But what we're going to do, we're making the ice cream now so we don't need the cone. So let's just hide the cone. I'm just going to create one more colour because this is going to be our ice cream and we'll do this right at the beginning so go on the plus key and add in a mesh and the mesh we're going to add in is a circle so we've added the circle in I'm just going to give this a new color and the new color I'm going to call ice cream because this is going to be our ice cream color pressing the 7 key looks from the top and what we're going to do is I've just gone into edit mode by pressing the tab key and I'm just going to select randomly around here different points go on to promotional editing and then scale it down moving your mouse wheel changes the way it scales and G just to move this around so I end up with a bit of a random shape there we go random shape and we've got a bit of a random shape there and that'll do for our ice cream so looking from the side I'm now going to add an array and the array I'm going to add into is a Right. I'm going to add a new material into this and the material, in fact I've already created it it's going to be called ice cream so I've just attached the ice cream texture to that I'm now going to add a modifier in it so what you do is hit this little spanner or wrench if you're making add in an array modifier make this 300, 300 make that zero I want this to go in the Z direction so make that one we want constant offset and 0.25 and as you can see that's made a massive stack of rings 0.25 is the thing that seems to work so that's the one I'm going to use so with this stack of rings I'm going to just move it sideways so G to move X to move it along the red line and I'm going to move it by one I'm going to spin the camera around so I can see right from the correct side and then I'm going to add in a empty so add in an empty empty and I'm going to make it the arrows and what I'm going to do is this is the location of the empty this is found under the square box here so I've changed this to 0.99 so I made the empty just there at the side of the actual point of, of the center of the rings so what we then do is we're actually going to select the empty again because there's some other bits and bobs we need to change I'm going to change this to 12 degrees in fact I think that's 0.98 that location actually was it 0.96 yeah 0.96 we'll try, try 0 0.96 0 0.999 0 0.99 remember this is 0 0.96 this is point, uh, this is 12 degrees this is 0.99 this is 0.99 so with all them selected now select your stack of rings go into object then select the actual empty and as you can see we've now got something that looks a lot like an ice cream shape or a bit like an ice cream shape What we need to do now is to apply this so 
we're going to apply this to actually fix the shape so apply and then I'm going to go into edit mode pressing the tab key A to select all then select the line select then right click what you then see is you've got bridge edge loops and if we hit bridge edge loops we've got something that looks like our ice cream let's have a look just add smooth control and R I'm sorry select the ice cream rotate by pressing the R key and along the actual Y by 90 which makes it stand up so we've now got our ice cream shape oh, roughly we've got our ice cream shape and now what we need to do is move it G and Z move it up slightly and fetch it back in our cone alright so now we've got our ice cream shape so what we'll do is rename this circle as ice cream and the other thing we should do is get a bit of shine so let's have a look into the actual colour give it a bit of shine make it a bit more metallic just to get that uh, that's it, the ice cream shape um, colour even get a bit of shine take the roughness down work on this at the end it's just that I'm trying to get that kind of shape and then what we're going to do to make our cone reappear is Alt H, yeah. Alt H does make it unhide. And what we've got there is we've got our ice cream. What I'm going to do is set the origin to the center of the surface of the ice cream just to make it in the middle. And I'm then going to go into this little square here and just reset its coordinates to zero, zero, and zero. Just puts it back into the center. And then G and Z to move it up and scale it down until it's the desired size. Move it around G. Helps if you select the ice cream. G and just move it to where I want it, which I think is about there scale it up slightly and as you can see we've got bits of, that we don't want it outside so G just move them in select an edge if you go on proportional editing like that but you can actually just select come off of proportional editing and just move them into the actual ice cream if you want so but proportional editing I think makes it a bit quicker so because it uh, grabs more than one thing at once and the amount that it grabs is determined by the size of the circle as you can see uh, gee, I'm just going to move these in until it's all gone and there we go one by one one by one just moving them in to the ice cream. Nothing super hard about this. In fact, quite easy. I'm just moving them in. Let's just move it. Back into edit mode. G. Let's move them in. Set and found this one of the best ways to do it. To be honest, because it seems to just go where you want it and nowhere else. So. Out of edit mode, we've now got a 
cone and an ice cream I don't like that up there so I'm just going to move G and Z let's move that one in the way I'm going to go on to individual origins here so take the actual proportional editing off because I just want to move them faces down inside itself G G there we go just so the ice cream sort of ends up in itself and then just to finish it off if you wish you can actually add a modifier subdivide surface I'm just going to make this one apply which gives you more geometry but then when you go into proportional editing hit the tab key go into the ice cream and then it's a case of go into proportional editing and just distort your ice cream so however you wish to do it just to make it look however real you want it to do or unreal it depends what you want from your ice cream and the shape that you want the ice cream to actually take to how you do this now you can move things out like this or move them in and you get the idea you just it's a bit of twisting and moving and just distorting just to Yep. <laughs> Admittedly, that doesn't look like the actual one I did on the thumbnail, but they're all different and you can get some really nice effects with this. So that's the cone. So we've now done the actual cone, we've done the ice cream to a fashion. Like I say the more time you spend on this, the better you can make it look. But for this tutorial, that's what I'm going to do. Right, so now I'm going to hide the cone. I'm going to hide the ice cream. As you can see, that's the ice cream. Hide it. And finally, we finally what we're going to do is make the flake. Now the flake is teaching you something brand new on Blender, and it's something that I've learned recently. See you later. So Have join fun. me in the third tubetorial. Please where subscribe. We'll make the flake. Please subscribe to Blender TC. See you later. Have fun and please subscribe.